If you want to add in more visual elements in your project to make them look interesting, then what you can do is you can go around and utilize the library right here. So if I were to go around onto the left hand side and click on the library, then you will only be able to see Jiffy right here. So what I can do is I can go around and click right here and there's a lot of uh, um, uh, off small clips as you can see right here. Like there's this happy birthday right here that you can click and then these are small um, uh, uh, GIF clip right here that I can go around, bring out, place out wherever what I want and it shows up like this. So there's something like let's say for example um, uh, travel right here. So let's just go around and search for travel. Then you can find GIFs related to travel right here. So this is from the Jiffy library right here. So as time will grow by, what happens is that in the library, there'll be more option than Jiffy. But right now, you can see that there's only Jiffy right here. So there's a lot of effects as you can see, like this one right here. So you can go around and bring that in. And then this is what you have right here, just like this. You can place it wherever you want. Make your video look interesting over here, just like this. You can also go around and get different stickers as you can see right here. Uh, right, uh, just like this. So GIFs are like small clips of different video clips uh, which are famous, while stickers are more like graphics right here. So I'm just going to go around over here and say something like a tree right here in sticker, a sticker. And there you go, there's a tree as you can see just like this. So I can go around and bring in this tree for example and then you can see that it can be added over here on my video clip right here. So you can go around, place it wherever you want right here just like this and there you go, there's a video effect, an instant video effect right here. So with these elements, what you can do is you can work around with the opacity and the other options right here just like this. So you can go around over here and there's other options as you can see just like this. So that is how you can work around with library inside of CapCut. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.